To wake up and let's grind with Derek Dimes, Ghost Picks ATS. I run that logo, click that go up top, turn notifications on. You don't want to miss out, guys. Bright and early here on Tuesday morning. I'm going to try to get back in the flow of things and start getting back to these morning videos and give you guys this content nice and early um, and try to give us, uh, give you guys as much information as we can to make you more successful sports betters. <coughs> Willis Redraw, very transparent. Five of us here on the Ghost Picks team. Click the description below, follow those guys. Don't miss out on the free content, guys. Today is Two for Tuesday. If you're unfamiliar with that, every Tuesday here at Ghost Picks ATS, um, two handicappers of your choice. You get their top tier play, which is the highest rated play of the day, um, for 30 bucks. So you'll get two top tiers, two top rated plays from two different guys on the Ghost Picks team for 30 bucks, $29.99, guys. Don't miss out on that great opportunity. Let's jump into a quick recap. We'll give you a free play, um, and we'll send you on your way to have a wonderful Tuesday. Um, so new week, new dimes. Going to continue with that theme, continue with that trend. Yesterday's um, free play was a win for you guys with the Atlanta Hawks plus the points. Excuse me, uh, with the Utah Jazz, they really are really struggling there with cohesion, and I think that's going to take some time to figure out. I think Mike Conley only had one point last night. Um, as uh, the Atlanta Hawks, or not the Atlanta Hawks, I'm sorry, the Phoenix Suns. We had the Phoenix Suns yesterday. The Phoenix Suns should have come out with that victory. Uh, they fouled their late net game. Um, two free throws, he makes one, miss one, and they end up winning the game, the Utah Jazz by one, in a game where they really didn't shoot the ball that well, they turned the ball over a ton, um, but we still got the job done, we took the points, we got the win, that's all that matters, um, so a free play win for you guys, that was not a premium selection play, um, but on the premium side, in the NBA, we had our top tier selection play of the day, was a winner for you guys, um, as we swept the board in premiums, swept the board with a free play as well. Um, the Toronto Raptors minus the five versus the Orlando Magic. Um, just don't think the, the Magic shoot the ball good enough. I don't think that they're deep enough quite yet. Um, they're struggling to get their offense rolling um, when you have to rely on Markel Folks, It's really not a good thing. Um, as, although he did improve, he's still not, I wouldn't say, a quality player. Oh, but that was a nice five-unit five unit top tier play there for us there yesterday. In the NFL, we had a small three-unit selection play um, on Monday Night Football with the Steelers and the Dolphins. We took the under 43 and a half, um, two teams that really just are get in their own way. Um, we saw how bad the Steelers looked early on um, with the Dolphins up 14 and nothing. I mean, it was really, really crazy. And then Dolphins do what the Dolphins do and turn the ball over and, and couldn't put any points on the board. Um, pretty much as we expected them to do. So we are on the under 43 and a half there in that one which was a nice win for us there. So plus eight units, 2-0 and on the day, premium side, free play winner for you guys. Two for Tuesday, two characters of your choice. Jump on board, top tier selection play. Let's jump into our free play. <clears throat> Not a ton on the slate today. There is some NBA going on today. There is some Major League Baseball going on today. I do not deal with handy or uh, with hockey. Um, so there would be no action for me in that section. So we're going to take a look at the NBA here. Memphis Grizzlies on the road here against the LA Lakers as our free play. Um, Lakers are favorite, obviously. Home favorites, 12-point favorites. One of the better teams in the league. 2-0 and at home. 2-1 uh, and one on the year. Uh, total set at 220. We're going to take a look at this total here at 220. Um, that 12-point spread, that line's a little, a, little, a little high for my liking here. I, I know the world will probably be on the Lakers there. Maybe we will keep an eye on that later if it gets up high enough to where we like it. Um, I like the total here to go over. Um, the, the Lakers here really have played under that number a few times, but that's because of the teams that they face here. Um, they really faced some tough, tough defensive teams early on with the Utah Jazz and the, uh, the LA Clippers. Uh, where so Both those games, they've only barely scored over 195 and 102 in the other. Um, but we saw what they did with uh, a team that's not nearly as talented in the Charlotte Hornets. And I think this is going to be the same thing with the Memphis Grizzlies, who really, really struggled defensively so far this year. Um, giving up a ton of points. They just had a huge, huge game with the Nets. Back and forth game there um, where they ended up going, I believe the total was like 260 or something. They went, like they, The total was 225. They ended up scoring 260 points combined um, between the two teams. Uh, we have the young star, Ja Morant. I know they're really pressing him to get more shots. He really early on in the year had wasn't really taking a lot of shots. The last game that really changed. Um, and I think he's the motor for this team to try to drive them um, to any type of success. They're a very young team, Jaron Jackson. Um, as you know, I uh, speak a lot about and John Morant on that team. So I'm looking for them to try to push the, push the pace here a little bit, play with some pace. They're one of the top five teams that play with pace here in the NBA, play pretty fast pace. Lakers play a little bit of a slower pace, but um, the turnovers here are going to be the issue for the Grizzlies. They just turn the ball over way, way, way too many times um, for this team um, in the LA Lakers who does not turn it over very, very often. 
Um, and I think the Lakers get up. They take some guys out. The Grizzlies keep playing. They're going to score some points late. I like this one to go over the total of 220 as the official free play of the day. Lakers are going to score, I think, in this one, upwards of 120 points in this game. Um, and if we can get the Grizzlies to get just over 100, which I believe they're capable of um, with just how fast and how frantic of a pace they play, um, it should be a nice, easy win for us here. I like the Grizzlies and the Lakers over the total of 220, guys. Drop a comment below if you agree, you don't disagree. Thumbs up if you like the content. Thumbs down if you don't. Whatever you want. It's uh, it's America, man. Do your thing. But two for Tuesday. Hop on board, guys. Two cameras of your choice. Top tier play. 30 bucks. It's Derek. da 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 dimes guys. Ghost Picks ATS. Get with it or get lost, all right? Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday, guys. Three Gs of Ghost is how we roll here. Good luck. God bless. Grind on.